hello everyone welcome back to our channel my name is esther and this is qs fashion up if you're new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're also welcome so join me as i create this piece on the thumbnail this sounds like what you're interested in let's go straight into it so you're going to be needing your pairs which is your bead you're going to need the ones that has hole in them you need your normal thread your elastic thread your bobbin so i already reeled my elastic thread or your smoke thread you can call it smoke thread so the elastic thread is going to be under your machine while the normal thread is going to be on top of your machine and then you are going to also need your fabric so i'm using one and a half yard of fabric for this top for this blouse <laughs> so what i have here is one yard 17 inches let's just say one and a half yard okay so if you're on a medium size one and a half is just fine but if you're on a plus size two yards is just okay for you if you want to make it as a gun you can increase the measurements you can use three yards for it okay the first thing you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two in this in the side of the yardage can you see after folding into two you're going to fold into two again that means you're folding into four after folding into two first you fold it into two again which is folding into four like you want to cut a peplum okay so at the top part which is the upper part you're going to have two opening there the lower part you're going to be having four opening the side that is close to you is not going to be open at all then the other side which is the part that's is close to the other side is <laughs> going to be having four opening now you're going to open it into two like you can see me do and then just cut it into two equal parts like you can see me do on the screen so just go ahead and cut it into two equal parts okay now once you're done cutting it you can go ahead and then stretch it out like this and then fold it into two like this fold this into two so you're going to go ahead and mark your midpoints of the fabric okay you can create a little notch there or you can use your chalk to just mark the midpoint so for me i just created um i just used my chalk to mark the midpoints okay after that open it up again and then you're going to that is the midpoint that I'm, I'm marking at that point okay so i'm just trying to confirm or you can just open it up this way measure the entire length and then divide it into two so you know that ankara comes in 45 inches so just divide it into two ankara adire kampala most of them comes in 45 inches i want my neck width to be 13 inches when i'm done sewing okay so from the midpoint from the midpoint i'm going to mark 6.5 inches to my left and 6.5 inches to my right that is what will give me my 13 inches for my neck width if you want yours to be wider you can increase it uh, you can increase it by making it um maybe 7.5 to the left 7.5 to the right okay because by the time you're done this blouse is just going to look like an off shoulder or you can style it as um one shoulder off okay so after that just go ahead and secure it with your pin okay so you're going to stitch from that mark downward and leave the neckline open okay so you're going to stitch from that part now okay that's your 6.5 to your left okay and stitch to the other side also so once we are done we are going to go ahead and then m this side the side okay you're opening it up like this and then you're going to m it all the way from one end to the other okay we're going to do the same thing to this side okay just open it up this way take half inch and take another half inch and just m it all the way around okay so at this point i was done stitching the shoulder and then this is the neckline that i left open like this okay so i just stitch all the way from that part to the end and i did the same thing to the second part and i also emmed the sides both sides okay i did the same thing to the second side okay so at this point we are done so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and then open it up this way and then we are going to go ahead and m the neckline so you're going to fold you know we left we use half an inch to join the shoulder so you're going to use quarter of an inch fold quarter and fold another quarter and then just aim your neckline like this okay see the way i'm folding it okay so you're going to 
take it to your sewing machine and just stitch on it quarter of an inch and fold another quarter of an inch that is what we give you your half an inch so once we are done um aiming the neckline we are going to aim the lower part by folding half an inch and folding another half an inch so we are going to aim the lower part for both uh, the front and the back remember we we are cutting we made the front and back together so at this point i was done aiming for both the neckline and then the lower part of my blouse okay so the next thing we are going to do is just to spread it out like this okay can you see and make sure you also iron while you are working so from that shoulder line we're going to take our underbust measurement so for me my underbust is 14 so you're going to mark your own underbust like this once you're done marking your underbust you're going to draw a straight line across the entire fabric so you're going to be taking half inch interval half inch interval so right here i have four lines but i ended up doing five okay so you're going to be marking half half an inch okay from the uh underbust so you're going to draw the line straight so you do the same thing to the back okay so those are the lines that we are going to be stitching on with our smoke thread so all this while we are sewing we are just using regular thread this is the point we are going to be using a smoke thread for the clothes so from the side mark 3.5 inches for your clothes okay mark 3.5 inches inward you're going to also mark it for the other side and also mark it for the back panel okay so now this is my smoke thread i'm using black color because i couldn't get brown so i already really my smoke thread which is elastic thread on my bobbin okay so this is how to really just use your hand to just reel it like that please don't stretch it when you are reeling it in don't stretch it just go gradually around it now your normal thread is going to be on top of your machine while your elastic thread or your smoke thread is going to be under the machine which is inside the bobbin case now we're going to start sewing from that 3.5 inches all the way and we'll stop at the 3.5 inches that is at the other side i don't know if if i'm making sense you're going to start sewing from the 3.5 inches and then stop at the other 3.5 inches so this is it i decided to just show you guys on the sewing machine so you can understand what i'm saying what i'm explaining okay now the first thing you're going to do you're going to lose your bobbin case you're going to loosen the tension of the bobbin case please make sure you don't over lose it just lose it a little lose it a little not too much okay because if you lose it too much it is going to affect the work you're doing it's not going to smoke okay it's not going to give you that smoky effect okay so once you're done put your bobbin inside your bobbin case and then insert it inside your machine and then put a normal thread on top of the machine make sure that your thread is matching with the, the fabric you are sewing use a matching color of thread so now we're going to start sewing on those lines that we have created remember i said i ended up doing five lines instead of four that i marked earlier so you're going to start stitching like this across okay following the lines you already drew or you can even use uh, you can just eyeball it you can just um use your eye gauge just <laughs> eyeball it if you don't want to draw your line so gradually you're going to be sewing and you're going to stop at that 3.5 inches that we've marked earlier okay so when you start it's not going to be making sense at the beginning but when you keep doing it it's going to be gathering the fabric and be giving you that uh, smoking effect okay so you're going to do the second one once you're done with the first one go ahead and do the second one do the third one the fourth one the fifth one as many as you want to create okay so if you want to make it as a gun you can use three yards and then increase your length do you understand me increase your length but i'm making mine as a blouse okay so at this point i was done okay so this is what i have i did the same thing to the back can you see please make sure your lines are straight so that it fall on the same place for your back panel and your front panel so that one will not be coming down or lower than the the others okay so now you're going to align your fabric like this on your table make sure that the right side of the fabric is facing you so we're going to be marking the um rant sleeve where your hand is just going to come out from okay the sleeve opening 
okay so for me i'm using 10 inches so you can use um 10 or 11 or 12 if you're on a plus size you can use um 11 or you can even start from your under bust if you if you start from your other bust it means that um your bust can be showing if you raise your hand except you are wearing a camisole okay so for me i'm using 10 inches so if you're a medium size 10 is just fine for you you can do 10 or 9 if you're on a small size you can do 9 inches or 8 it will be fine okay so now you're going to remember that 3.5 inches we started our stitches from so you're going to mark it all the way downward note you are stitching on the right side of the fabric not the wrong side so now you're going to mark 3.5 inches from that line all the way down or you can make it as a shape when you're getting to the lower part just slant your hand out like this and it's going to give you like an a shape effect at the lower part but for me i just maintain that straight line do you understand so that 3.5 inch First mark your sleeve opening which is 10 inches i use 10 inches which is the round sleeve where my hand is going to come out from okay mark it and then from there you mark the 3.5 inches we stop our smoking effect at and then you're, you're just going to take it all the way down to the m line or you can just slant your hand to have an a, a shape effect so this at this point i was done so i've, I've started beading my clothes so i first put my thread in Make sure your thread is very long okay so i pass it in like this after passing it in like three times i went in and out for three times and then i put inserted my bead in inside and then i just connected it back to the the other side of the necklace so at this point i was just trying to figure out the type of design i want to create with my bead so for the second one you're just going to once you are done securing that one pass your thread out again and then start putting your bead inside okay so for my first set of bead i use like um i think 46 bead okay so the second one is going to be increasing as you go it's going to be increasing so just pass your your bead inside your thread like this okay and then arrange it make sure there's no space in between now you're going to go in with your needle inside and then you're going to go in and come out like three times and then make sure you secure it very well create a knot like three different knots like that's what i did so that i'm very sure that it is secured even after washing the clothes it's not going to come off okay so the best part of this cloth is that this size can even fit a plus side because um one of my students at Put it on and it was perfect on her and she's a plus size okay so it is it's not restricted to only medium size because of the the style we are creating okay so you're just going to go in and out like three or four times and secure it in place create your notes and then we are just going to continue so for me i did four okay so this is the final look of the top if the story is helpful can you see the beauty if it's helpful if you have learned one or two things subscribe and turn on your notification bell please don't forget to engage with this video like this video share with your loved ones and drop a beautiful comment please subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you guys in the next one my name is esther don't stop learning keep planning see you in the next one bye yeah. i love you <laughs>